Hello. In this video, we will see how Scratch essay is measured. I have already made a video on the measurement of Scratch essay. This video is particularly about the update on this tool. Its features are pretty much similar. However, this tool comes with a little variations. Let's see what we have in the update. For this purpose, a tool is used called Wound Healing Size Tool Update. Let's go and download this from this website. I have given the link of this website in the description. Scroll down, click here and save link as. I have already downloaded this link. You just save it and then go to the saved folder. Right click on this zip file and extract files. You can see there are two files in this folder. The first one is a PDF file. Uh, this is a user manual. The second one is the tool file. Now let's see how we will use this tool. Okay. First of all, take, uh, take uh, your scratch essay image and open it in image J file. Okay. Convert this image file from RGB to 8 bit. Now, in order to install the software, go to plugin, then macro and click install. Select the file and click open. You can see this tool has four icons. The previous one had three icons. The first icon is about wound healing size stack tool. As the name indicates, it helps to analyze the stack images. The second icon is wound healing size tool. With this tool, single images are analyzed. The third icon is wound healing size manual tool. And the last one is the rotate 90 degree tool. To use this tool, select it and then click on the image to be rotated. Click it once more. After selecting this, it will rotate one again. Then select this tool. It will rotate again. And okay. So this is our scratch which we will measure. For taking the measurements, click on the on wound healing size tool and then click on the image. A pop-up window has appeared. This window uh, has few options like uh, the first one is the variance window threshold. It represents the radius of various filters which is established to determine the empty or occupied zones. For this image, I am setting the variance window radius as 10. The second option is threshold. The image resulting from the variance filter is converted to a mask by applying the given threshold. For a bright field image like this one, it should be between 50 and 150. The third option is the percentage of standard pixel. This enhances the contrast of the image by determining the number of pixels in the image. For the rule of thumb, the higher the saturated pixels, the higher the contrast. However, it should be more than zero. Like here, it is 0 0.001. The fourth option is the set skill global. 
this represents the calibration of image j if the image j is calibrated the results will appear in the calibrated units otherwise it will appear in pixels set is set it yes is the scale calibration applies i have made a video on calibration of image j software you may watch it link is given in the description below uh, the last one is the scratch is diagonal it determines the inclination of the image select it yes if you have if you observe that scratch has an inclination the other option is no okay after doing this just click on okay after a little processing you can see the scratch has been highlighted with this line and two more windows have appeared one with the results the result window has the name of the file area in square pixels percentage area of the scratch pixel width as well as standard deviation pixel the second window is roi manager i uh, it has many options they are described in my another video on the scratch asset please go and check it out i am giving the link in the description below you can check and uncheck the label this label you may highlight or uh, un unhighlight this area and there are many options in this uh, in this window as well this these all are described my previous video on scratches i i hope you have watched my previous videos on how to calibrate image j and how to add scale bar if not their links are also given in the description below thanks for watching the video please like this video and subscribe to my channel thank you